Hi, so Ellen from Complete Horse Care. Today I've got some video footage from the Adelaide International Three Day Event. This is a masterclass that was held recently on day two, which is the cross country section of the three day event. And what you'll learn today is about how to set your horse up to jump skinny jumps. So enjoy, and I hope you have a lot of fun watching the video but have even more fun out there jumping some skinny jumps. Bye for now. I'm going to hand over the mic to Sam now. <laughs> anyway, what, what I look for when I'm trying to train uh, these skinny tight fences <laughs> is I try and very much imagine that I'm riding down the centre line to the judge. So I try and keep my horse as straight as I can. And once the horse does the jump, I try and ride away in a straight line. So I think it's really important that you teach your horse to go straight. If you can get a horse straight, you'll get the horse under control. Once they understand the question and I can get them straight, I'll then start making it more complex. And I think uh, if we can get um, the ground crew here to actually start to take away a couple of these poles, I think we'll see um, how we can start to train the horses to jump a skinnier and a narrower fence. Well done, Clay, that's not too bad. I have to go a bit careful with Clayton. I have to be, he's quite, he's quite a confidence rider. Right? If I get too tough on him. <laughs> so what we do here is we then very much progressively um, make the fence narrower and narrower. But you'll see here we've still kept the uh, holes on the ground to encourage the horse to go straight. And so then what we do is uh, we, we, we take away the poles and make it tougher. Oh, and we're getting quite big already. But the moment, what we, the, moment the horse makes a mistake, i.e. jumps to the side, we then put the poles back. Because we want to teach the horses to jump the jump. We don't want to teach them to run out. So to train the horses, Go, it's not usually just one session. Usually, you know, it's quite a lot of sessions. It's not like you come out and say, my horse can now jump the skinny. So we'll keep quite a generous ground pole on this to make it easy for the horse. So, what, so we'll, we'll try to train the straightness and the jumping the narrowness, not try to make it too difficult for the horse. Good. So although Kate's horse didn't jump that, particularly well, the pleasing thing is the horse stays straight and that's what we're trying to train. The horse will start to jump a lot better the more confident he becomes. <laughs> and so if they don't do it so well, you just keep repeating the exercise. So we'll get Kate to do that again. Good, very good. Now, now for, for, my, for my thinking, uh, like I was saying at the start, I pay real attention to their straightness. I, just, I felt the horse just jumped a little bit to the right, so what I'll do is just encourage you to keep up the right wing on this thing. Yeah. And, and so for me, like I was saying before, is I want to teach them to jump the jump. I don't want to teach them to run out. This is training, so we try and really train the horse and the test comes in the competition. Good, very good. You, you could actually be quite a good rider if you weren't with this day. <laughs> So Clay, are you feeling confident to go like that? Yep. Yeah, very good, very good. So again, as a rider, right, we're looking to jump right over the middle of the barrel. Oh, 
Those who know, if you're still keeping all very perfected, we're slowly ending the pole away, making the jump skinnier and skinnier and narrower and narrower. Very good. Play the very confident go to the drum. So this is now a real test for the hall. We'll, 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 see, we'll see how he does it. Yeah, very good. Excellent. So, so to me that was really impressive. Clayton hasn't ridden this horse for very, very long, you know, probably only this morning. And uh, to be able to come down and do that is, is really good.